Okay, Taurus, it's your turn. It's Thursday. <laughs> it's January the 30th, 2020. It's time for Taurus. Wake up, Taurus. It's time for your reading. So, um, I don't have my woo-woo-woo music going on because you know that you'd be irritated if I did. So, I didn't do that just for you. Okay, um... The way I'm going to get started on this is um, we're just going to run through the numbers. I'm doing something a little bit different as I'm doing my numerology to help people kind of get and understand uh, what's going on. I use the Michelle Bachman numerology deck. Um, you can get it online. It's like less than 15 bucks. I highly recommend it. Burberry deck astrology gives you your signs planets uh, elements less than uh, $20 online the um, Colette Baron Reed who's a medium who's awesome if you don't know about her and this is her animal spirit Oracle which is great and I'm using that with the animal wisdom deck um, and that is by Don Brunk so um, you can also get these online under um, $30, I'm pretty sure. <clears throat> I think I have reviews uh, that you can check my videos uh, on these and do a run through and all the information. So let's get started over here. So this is the first month of the year, so it's a new beginning. We have the 30th day, so three, which is communication, collaboration, um, creativity with spirit. And then we have two, which is patience um, with spirit and then patience with spirit. So patience upon patience. Uh, two plus zero is two plus two is four plus zero is four. So it's the year of perseverance. Okay, so we have the month, the day and the year. When you add those together, we have one plus three is four, five, six, seven, eight. So there's your eight. Eight is manifestation. So today is all about manifesting uh, what it is that we need. It means you have all the tools at your disposal to create whatever it is you need to have um, for today. All right, Taurus. So Taurus, you're a number two, which is interesting because two is patience. The thing with Tauruses, they're not really known for patience. But that, to, that being said... I think uh, Taurus are a little bit slightly misunderstood. I think they do have patience to a certain extent once they get past that. Okay. Your planet is Venus. Venus is um, beauty and love. So um, one and six, the beginning of love. Six and one is seven, which is personal growth. Then we have Earth. Earth is a uh, two and six. So two is patience and love. So here we have patience and love. So here we have Taurus is patience, Venus is love. Patient and love, Earth. Okay, two plus six is eight. Manifestation, again with the eight. Okay, so... Um, Oddly enough, if you were to take these numbers and add these together, you have 8, 9, 10. You have 18, right? 25. Um, uh, no, I'm sorry. I can't even add today. Holy cow, I just absolutely, my brain just like stopped working. <laughs> All right. 25. It is 25, isn't it? 25. 5 and 2 and 5, which is 7, which is personal growth. I either added that up correctly or incorrectly. My brain just is not working today. I actually have a thing for numbers. I actually do know how to add, believe it or not. Um, I just have so much information coming in at me right at this moment. I'm like trying to keep everything intact because as I'm starting getting ready for my read, I have information coming so this is my spirit oracle deck so we have this coming into play and then i'm doing the animal wisdom so we're going to have this as my tarot and we're starting out with numerology so i like to do my uh, shuffling lives so you can see i don't um pre-pick the cards the cards that come out 
they could be crazy and you'll be like no that didn't just happen so as long as you watch me i do what i call let jesus take the wheel i let the cards literally fall where they may and that way spirit has control to give me the information that it is that you need to have at this time the ones that are sticking up are the ones that i pick so you can see i've got a little one there one there and one there so i'm going to start with that first card and try not to pull out any other cards along with it sometimes that does happen and then i come back and go okay do i need any more cards so no so that's done now let's see what we have seven hmm okay so we're starting right off the bat we have our seven so seven is personal growth this is a star seed number with a star seed number what that means is seven to the next power you don't add these together it's seven and then another seven <coughs> personal growth on top of more personal growth <coughs> excuse me is spirituality so we start out with spirituality next we have oh look at that we have our venus six earth six so six and six see six six healing love again more love is healing love with love is healing wow this is crazy this is cr okay look at look at look at look 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 you can't see okay let me hold it up so you can see star seed star seed star seed venus one one is the beginning um one in the front is the new or beginning one behind is an individual you have one and one one and one is individuality individuality star seed star seed star seed okay this is going to be a really intense read when we start out like this yeah it's going to be crazy for sure all right let's get these cards shuffled what's really interesting is because today um is an eight uh venus is a seven but when you add up the today with taurus with venus with earth it's a seven so we have venus seven today seven so there's your seven seven you have venus and earth uh with two sixes you have two sixes and individuality so taurus um yeah taurus are definitely their own person for sure Okay. <clears throat> Oof. That's a lot of cards. Lots of cards. But if that's what I'm supposed to do, then that is what I'm supposed to do. Okay. Oh, we got an extra. Oh, no. An extra. Ah. It's too many. Yeah, there's still one that wants to come out. Okay, finally. Jeez. Thought that was never gonna end. Car oh, I have oop oh, 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 oh. bottom of the deck. I always check the bottom of the deck. There can be a story here. You never know. Oh, we have shells and shells and shells. Oh, okay. So we might have to refer back to that in a bit. Last card here, first card here, starting at the beginning raccoon hmm seer a fossil so raccoon represents young youthful childlike uh the page the the messenger fossils are domestic home work money um it's also earth represents earth so we have our um earth going on right here so bringing in a message work uh domestic work job money 
Next we have Scorpion. Five of Branches. Hmm, that's interesting. I wouldn't have expected that. Okay, branches are wands which are action. Five is change. So a change in our action. So five of wands is um, like a competition or training, preparing for something. That's interesting. Lion. Ruler of the open heart. So five and three. Five is change. Three is communication. A change in communication. Eight. Eight is um, our earth and our, our day, which is manifestation. So five, six, seven, eight, Roman numerals. That's eight. Um, lion. Ruler of the open heart. This represents strength. Manifesting strength. Manifesting strength, competition, the beginning of domestic, spirituality, healing, individuality. Hmm, this is, okay. Not going to make any opinions or decisions or anything until I get to the end so that, you know, we can kind of go through it. Taurus, you can go, th as I'm doing this, you're like, oh, I know what this is. I know what this is. Ibis, nurturer of feathers. So this is female energy, more like mothering um, kind of energy. The nurturer. Feathers is um, our thoughts, our mind. The way we think. Nurturing our thoughts. 